It has been a flurry of activities over the last two months as the Kenyan government intensified lobbying foreign affairs CS Amina Mohamed, who has been fronted for the African Union chairperson job. The campaigns are being championed by a cabinet committee headed by Deputy President William Ruto and Education CS Fred Matiangi and has so far crisscrossed more than a dozen states in the continent. On the other hand, President Uhuru Kenyatta has also reached out to a similar number of heads of states in Africa, the latest being his eight colleagues who attended the Extraordinary African Union Summit on Maritime in Togo. You can expect to see more of the travel as Kenya is robustly seeking an African consensus on the candidature of Ambassador Mohammed, and that can only be achieved if the president reaches out to all the continent's leaders uh, and that is what he is doing. Kenya's approach is to see Ambassador Mohammed elected during the first round. This means Kenya must at least gain votes from at least 35 of the 50 AU countries. Kenya remains encouraged by progress so far in the campaigns. Uh, ESC endorsement yesterday followed that by Comesa and of course Somalia's announcement that it would provide the first vote in this election for Kenya. The AU Commission chair elections are slated for January 27, 2017 in Addis Ababa, Ethiopia. Among the countries that have already offered support to Kenya's bid in West Africa include Nigeria, Algeria, Ivory Coast, Ghana and Sierra Leone. CS Amina will have to battle it out for the chairperson's position with Botswana's Pelonomi Venson Moitoi, who vied in the last election making it to the last round and has the support of most Southern African nations, Professor Abdullaye Bathili, a Senegalese diplomat representing ECOWAS. Central African states have two candidates, Agapito Mbamukui of Equatorial Guinea and recently nominated Mausafaki Mohamed of Chad. Mombiwa Roe, Sunday Live.